This is Bron from Mathics, and today we're going to be doing number 24 from the Math Kangoo first and second grade of 2020. Now, this prompt, in my opinion, does not deserve the place in number 24, because when you get down to solving this prompt, you can solve this easily using systems of equations and some variables. But anyways, let's get started. John and Olivia exchanged sweets. First, John gave Olivia as many sweets as Olivia had. Then Olivia gave John as many sweets as John had after the first exchange. After these two exchanges, each had four sweets. How many sweets did John have at the beginning? And the answer choices for this problem is A, 6, B, 5, C, 4, D, 3, and E, 2. Okay, so to start this off, we can represent John and Olivia as J and O, which we will be writing down later. So, now that we have John, it says that first John gave Olivia as many sweets as Olivia had. So, that means it would be J minus O. And keep in mind that Olivia would have two O, since G minus O would result in Olivia having two O. So, now it says that then Olivia gave back John as, as many sweets as John had after the first exchange. So, that means John would have... 2j minus 2o. Okay, so now that we got John's side of the story, and also we have John equal 4 at the end, now let's get Olivia's side of the sweet trades. So now we have o. And like we said before, to keep in mind that when John gave up Olivia's amount of sweets, then Olivia gained twice his amount of sweets. So then Olivia would have 2o. And then, Olivia would subtract J minus O from her amount. So that would be 2O minus J minus O. So we can just write that out. Now, we can simplify the 2O minus J minus O as 3O minus J. So let's just write 3O minus J. And since we got 3O, because we know minus minus would equal a plus, but since J didn't have a negative, it just stays at minus. So 3O minus J. And we also know it equals 4, since it says it at the end. Now, from this part, it can get pretty fun. Because for on 2J minus 2O, we can simplify this down to j minus o is equal to 2. Since we can divide 2 from both sides, since 2j minus 2o can be simplified as j minus o, and 4 can be simplified as 2. And now, since we got all the simplifications, now we can do one of my favorite things, and that is systems of equations. Now, we can add 3o minus j equals 4 to j minus O is equal to 2 and once we have 3 O minus J plus J minus O we can simplify this down to 2 O is equal to 6 since the 2 plus 4 would equal 6 now, we can figure out Olivia's amount of sweets. So, then, Olivia would equal 3, since 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Okay, so now that we got Olivia's amount of sweets, now we can get John's. So now, since it said J minus O is equal to 2, we now know that O would be here 3. So now we can simplify this to 2 plus 3 is equal to J. That means that we got 5 is equal to J. Getting our answer as 5 sweets for John. Showing you 
that this problem was nothing more than some systems of equations and some variables. But anyways, as you can see, we have solved this problem, meaning that we are now officially finished.